Hello everybody, my name is ArashiYT and welcome back to some more Super Mario Maker 2. Now I created a level called Desert Circus and I only need to actually finish my own level and then it can be uploaded towards the Super Mario Maker 2 server so all of you guys at home can play it as well. But this level is quite difficult. I made this level quite difficult. Not unfair. Don't don't get me wrong. This level is pretty fair. It's just a lot of practice, but it's difficult nonetheless. So I thought, you know what? Won't it be kind of ironic and fun if I record myself playing my own level, maybe failing a lot, but trying to actually, you know, finish my own level so it can be uploaded. So then afterwards, you all at home can play this own level for yourself. So that is what we're going to do in this video. So if you're hyped for that, don't forget to hit the like button, comment and share this video with others. And slash that subscribe button down below for any more Super Mario Maker 2 content in the future. But we're just going to go to save load and we're going to click upload. And we're going to try to finish my own level. Now, as I said before, this level is difficult, but not unfair. So it, re it requires a lot of practice, especially in the beginning, because as you can see here, you'll be thrown right into the deep uh, in this level. So as you may notice on the right upper side, you can't, you know, continue after you press this block on. So we've done that. The jump here uh, with the fines is a little annoying at first, but once you get the hang of it, you know, it it's not that hard. But this part here is quite hard. You need to be precise with your jumps. Now the difficult part of uploading this level is we need to, you know, finish the level from beginning to the end without the checkpoints. And that is quite hard. There are checkpoints in this level. There are two. Mm, we almost got there. But in the first run of uploading it, we need to make sure that, you know, we, uh, yeah, we, we finish from here at the beginning to the end. So if this takes too long, <laughs> I might just split all the episodes in parts. So I will check the timer of how long I'm recording. And then, you know, I will put a to be continued at the end of the episode. And then I will just, you know, try to put the next episode out as quickly as possible. But um, yeah, I will try to also make this unedited as possible because... You know, I want you to guys to see the suffering of my own level right here. So as you can see here, that finds there, that's not that difficult. It's this part here that's quite difficult, especially, you know, the last chainsaw or boss saw. It's a little bit lower, so you have to actually, you know, time your jumps correctly. And because there are slopes instead of just flat ground, that makes it a lot more difficult, uh, but not unfair, as I said before. It's just, it requires a lot of better practice. So, wait till the flame goes away, press OK, and now ooh, we die again. <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a series now. <laughs> Alright, jump, oh, hurry up, there we go. Uh, but the fun thing about this level is uh, there's a lot of different ways you can go in this level. There are different routes you can take. I think there are four different routes in total, two at the beginning and two at the end. So there's some replayability to this level even after you finish it. There we go. All right, so we've done this part. So as I said before, you practice, you get the hang of it, but then you require, you, then you get at this part. Which is a P jump. So you get the P, put the P at the spikes, jump on the P, and try to make it on the other side. Uh, yeah, that that's basically it. Ah, uh, you need to be so precise here. I don't want to change this level. I think the level is fine as it is. It's 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 again. There are there are many diff more difficult levels on Mario Maker here. I think if you see a lot of levels of Super Mario Maker, this here is like child's play. It's like once you've practiced that, it's okay. 
Okay, this requires a little bit more practice because you need to time your jump. This this level, I, I like, I, I just like to say, I like my levels to be like, you know, precise jump based. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, speedrunners are going to have some time with this level. <laughs> because you need to have a little bit patience in this level. Uh, but I'm sure there are a lot of speedrunners out there who can actually, you know, finish this level in a matter of seconds. Um, but yeah. Let's just try to do this. I think I'll I think I have I need like three episodes to actually finish this level if this keeps up I can't even get to the first part Okay, you need to be precise. There you go huh! Almost fucked up there at the end <laughs> All right Oh, I don't think that's yeah, that, that's not far enough. You, it, it needs to be precise. But once we are there, I can show you guys the other part uh, of that uh, world. Uh, you, you can't slip up. You can't actually slip up. <sighs> Alright. So we're gonna do it again. Turn on the block. Be precise here. There you go. Alright. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering why aren't you putting a checkpoint right here? Because there's... I think there's a lot of... Oh, the stuff. There's checkpoints. Okay. There are... I want to, you know... I'm just gonna stay here. I want my checkpoints to be evenly spread out. And putting it here... It kind of makes it... You know... Then the other checkpoints are quite far away. Uh, and now they're evenly spread out. But now we're here. This is what I call the POW block stair. So, basic simple. You have to build a stair. You have 10 POW blocks here. And if you, you know, press a wrong button and the POW blocks, you know, go boom. You're pretty much fucked. But not that much. I've, I've put 10 POW blocks here. Because even if you don't reach the end with 10 or 9 POW or less POW blocks. You can then, you know, pick a POW block here. And you can go on and build. And you can actually, you know, uh, you need you need to be careful that you don't slip up here. But you can actually, you know, put up the power block and just try to make a stair and just be precise. And there's a reason why I put the timer on this level on the maximum of uh, seconds. Because uh, this level is quite long. Long, difficult, but, you know, it's, it's doable. I know it's doable. It just takes a lot of practice. Oh, well, that was the P-Block. Um, if you go upstairs, you can see that there's a route there which you can take with the P-Block. But now the P-Block is gone. So, and I don't think the P-Block will respawn. <laughs> so, we pretty much fucked up our route there. But, as I mentioned before, there are several routes you can take in this level. Including the left side. So, because we pretty much fucked up the... Um, the P block there. We can just make a way here. Oh fuck, I almost fucked myself up. And we can go to this route. Now this route here. Two of these Goombas. There you go. And there's also a P block here. You take the P block. Pretty much simple. And you go as fast as possible. Now you can see on the right, uh, right upper side. There's another P block. So. Even if you fuck up. Like here. You can try to get the other P-Block, but as you see here, that Goomba can get back up again, and if he's stuck here, you can die. So you have to be careful. So you take another P-Block. This, this is only like for speedrunners, but there you go. And you can go in here. And as you can see here, there's another pipe here, which leads to the other side. So there's a checkpoint here. Now this is, in my honest opinion, the hardest part of this level. Because you need to time it right. Okay. And then... Okay. Come on. Ah! Fuck! 
I might, I might uh, take back. I might, you know what? I've died so many times there that I'm gonna remove those. I'm gonna remove those bombs. I'm gonna remove those bombs. So you see a little bit extras here, but I'm gonna remove those and instead because I've died so many times then it's so stressful that that is kind of unfair so um, I'm only gonna keep that I'm only gonna keep that and I'm gonna make this here so you have to go there but then you can stay here Watch for the bomb, yeah. So, we're gonna do that. Because that those two bombs there, that's unfair. Because I've played this level... Uh, before I recorded this, I tried to live stream it. And before that, I did some practice runs with this level. And I died so many times there that, that that's just unfair. That's just an unfair part of the level. So, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna delete that. Gonna make it a little bit easier there because that part is kind of the hard part of this level because that that just requires so much precise jumping that it's also based on whether the bombs go at the same time or something like that so i'm removing that because that's just unfair and this way i'm just trying also to review my own level like now, I don't want to change the boss sauce here because, as you've noticed it, uh, early on, with some practice, it, it's, it's, it's doable. It's just... It just requires, as I said before, a lot of concentration and precise jumping. But, as, I said, as you say there, that works. Okay, P-Block. That's a long, far away. Oh, nice. Alright. Stair building time. Don't fall in the hole. Don't fall in the hole where the spiky ding it, spiky uh, turtle is there. So, all right. I'm kind of obliged now to you know show you guys the other part of this level. Uh, the, so the other side there. You have to be careful that you don't jump in that hole. Jumping in that hole is deadly. So, <laughs> let's just go as fast as possible, because even though we have 500 seconds on the timer, uh, the level is quite long that if you goof around too much, um, yeah, you will eventually uh, fuck yourself over. So, and you don't want to fuck yourself over. That, that's, that's not something you want. So... I think we can put this power block here and I think we can then make the jump. So we're now going to go to the P-switch, boom, and we're going to try... Go this route. So now we're going to the right side of the level. And this requires some uh, swingies. And this is where the... Um, oh where the um, circus aspect of this level comes in. Oh, fuck! Come on. Go. Ah, and I killed myself there! But you get the gist of it. Grab the red coins, go into the door, and then you go at the part that I just changed. So that's the other route you can take. So it's either like... You know, which one of the routes do you like? Do you like the um, swingies or do you like the press the P block and go as fast as possible? So, yeah. That's basically it. And I'm, I'm just looking... Okay, we're almost 15 minutes into the first part of this. So I want to try to keep these videos like 20 minutes. So we'll see how far we can actually go. And otherwise you just see it to be continued. Ugh, just made it. See? That's also... With practice... It's doable. Alright. But, um... 
You may have noticed that with the swingies and uh, grabbing the red coins, that's kind of difficult. Uh, like you have, it's like having an easy route or a um, or a hard route. <laughs> Don't try to grab the P block once it's on the stairs. But yeah, you kind you're kind of getting a um, yeah a multiple way you can actually finish this level. You have like separate routes you can take. Those are two routes you can take, and later on you have also two routes that you can take. So yeah. I, I might also change the name of this level. I mean, Desert Circus... Um, you know... I just like it, because this part is in a desert, and it requires a lot of precise jumping. Um, I might just call it a Rush Run 2, if I'm not mis if, if, if I feel like it, but I like... I like Desert Run. Ah, just too high. Just too high. A little bit too high. A little bit too high. Come on, come on now. Come on. There you go. Ah, come on. Again. Okay. Oh, fuck. Right. Elliot. There you go. Mmm. I can't get this right anymore. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I want to finish this level. So it can be uploaded. There you go. Easy. Nothing, nothing difficult about that. P block. That's yes, that's right. All right. So now, again, building a stairs. Easy. Easy. Just building a stairs. There you go. Okay. Easy. Come on, this is easy. Like, this is like... I want my levels to have, like... Tedious parts. Or... Well, this this is... this You can call this tedious, but this is like... It's more... It, it, it's like a bit easier. Like, a bit calmer. It's maybe a tedious if you die a lot of times. But... It's like... Alright. You have to build the stairs. So no precise jumping at the moment. Just have patience. Uh, that's good. That's the core right word. I want my levels to have parts where you have where you need patience and just you know Stay calm Just do this and you'll be fine uh, And then combine that with um, You know parts where you have to be like Okay, I think I can make this yeah where you have to do precise jumping where it's a little bit more skill based so Let's try to do this as fast as possible. This is like for the speedrunners out there who wants to... There you go. Just in time. Okay, so we made this part a lot easier now. So, still have to do this. So then, this comes and... See, that aspect I still want to... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but now we need to do this again. <laughs> oh, I hope I can actually finish this level. There you go. This part again. First try. I, I mean... It gets better. Alright, then you come here. Grab the P-block. Just did not have a lot of momentum. Okay. Pop. And I just jumped too high. <sighs> okay. Calm. I need to be calm. I need to be calm. And uh, to everybody who wants to, you know, do this level for yourself once it is uploaded. 
if there are people out there who also make videos on YouTube, uh, you know, playing levels, you know, once the level is uploaded, I challenge you, man, do this level. Try to finish this level for yourself. Try to do it. I know you can do it. Because if I can do it, everybody can. 